Good morning, guys. This is the current situation of my home office. As you can tell, it is quite a mess, and all the walls are in this really light shade of gray because Slater wanted all the rooms to be matching and we wanted everything to be neutral so that in the future, when we decide to convert the room maybe to a kid's room or something else, like it would be very easy to mix and match the furniture. But um, I've decided to make one of the kids' rooms for now, since we don't have kids, turn it into a home office. And and this is what it looks like right now. I did decide to make this wall over here a brick wall-esque, but it's not actually made of brick. It's kind of just the plaster that they use on the wall and I just made them make it into brick shapes because I didn't know where to buy bricks. And it turned out really well, I really like it. But overall, after we have furnished the room, although it's not yet complete, as you can see, I have some furniture here already. Uh, it still lacks a little something something and I want it to be more representative of my personality. And I think gray is <laughs> not the way to go because I'm such a happy, colorful person. And so I have decided, finally, finally decided, after a long, long process of going back and forth with my best friend who helped me design this room, to paint one of the walls, not all the walls, just maybe an actual accent wall and this is gonna be the wall right here and I'm so excited because the paint just arrived today I'm actually gonna go out and show you it arrived about like an hour ago and so I've scheduled a painter to come here tomorrow and I'm gonna help him paint it so this is the color this is the paint it's Prima by Island Paints which is the paint that we used for all of the painted walls here in the sky pod and the color is uh, it's a surprise so yeah, if you guys want to see how this room is going to transform, then please keep on watching. Good morning, guys. I am about to have breakfast, I'm making myself my lemon water. Slater's still asleep, and we are about to start our day. today we are having leftovers <laughs> this is the kimchi fried rice I made last night morning hobs morning mom this is Slater's request chorizo kimchi chorizo the hubs living the good life the hubs living the good life and I'm having the rest of this because it's a leftover day Bon appétit. What? Okay. Coffee. <gasps> no glasses. We need to do our dishes. <laughs> okay, I'll make one for you and make one for me later. So last night, we had kimchi fried rice and it was okay, it wasn't really amazing. So today, I tried to dilute it and I'm adding an egg on top of it and hopefully it helps with the flavor because last night it was just super mega spicy. So I'm hoping this one will taste a little bit better. Look, ta-da! Holy smokes, it tastes a lot better. You have good kimchi. This is Hubs, the handyman, <laughs> trying to fix something in our house this early in the morning. Today, the 
agenda is, as I've said earlier, uh, we are gonna redo my home office and I'm super excited. And I know us vloggers always use that term. I'm super excited! But honestly, I am super excited because it is gonna be one of the first walls in the sky pod with color. Slater was very particular with maintaining everything, you know, keeping it neutral. And so all the rooms would be matching. So it would match the whole architecture of the house, which I really get. And I'm so thankful that he really has this very strong sense when it comes to the style of the house. But it is also my space. Like my home office is a place for me to get creative and I need to express myself. And I'm so happy that he actually told me to, you know, finally agree to let me do whatever I want. <laughs> and we have a painter coming in in an hour which I'm gonna meet and I'm gonna help out and we're gonna paint the wall a beautiful kind of brownish red color. It's actually my best friend Jillian who helped me think of the color. We went on Pinterest and looked at so many different home offices. I initially wanted to do like a pink one. I also wanted to do like a terraza print wall. Like I wanted to do so many different things and I think that's what's difficult especially for your architect or your interior designers when you just have too many ideas and when you like everything um, it's hard for them to kind of put it in one you know to make a solid vision and so Slater always told me to be sure with what I want like really research and then pick one and then stick to that one thing and so with all of the things that I wanted for the space we finally settled on this solid color on just one wall and that's what we're gonna do today I'm super duper excited all right, so makeup wise, we're not gonna be doing a lot because I'm just gonna be staying at home the whole day painting. I will just fix up my brows, I'll fix up my kilai, my mascara, and probably that's it for today. But I have already put on some tinted sunscreen and you saw me do the blush earlier. It's so hard for me to talk while concentrating on my kilai. Kilai is life. But yeah, that is what we are doing today. And also, I've prepped my skin already. So every morning, I apply a toner after I wash my face. Then I go in with a vitamin C serum and a moisturizer. And then I kind of roll my face around with a refall like face massager. And that is so far what I've done. Every single morning, I do that because I feel like your makeup really doesn't sit well if you don't prep your skin well enough. I'm sweating, it's hot today. If you hear a buzzing noise, that is my electric fan beside me. This is my best friend in my closet. I used to turn on the air conditioning all the time um, when I get ready because I hate it when I sweat and I'm still getting ready, but I realize now that I have to pay the bills, it's mahal pala. But look, this is the effect. I'm sweating so much. Are you guys sweaters or are you like those gifted people who don't sweat at all? Because I am a sweater, I sweat a lot. Which is, they say it's healthier, but it's kind of really annoying as well because I love makeup and sweating with makeup is a pain. So I'm not gonna put on much just because, you know, I'm just gonna probably sweat it out all later. I'm just gonna stick to mascara. favorite mascara of all time. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise and it's such a bold statement for me to make that you know this is my favorite mascara considering that I try so many mascaras but it really is really really good and it's a drugstore brand so you can easily find it anywhere. It really holds up the curl of your lash which I like because my lashes are super slick straight like they're Chinese lashes but these ones are really amazing. So far, I think this is the best mascara that I've ever tried. So if you guys are looking for a mascara that's really gonna hold the curl of your lash, let me try this out. And guys, look at that mascara. It's amazing. <sighs> All right guys, I'm like super ready for this. The painters are outside already. I'm just gonna plop on some contact lenses so I can see. Actually, no, I'm just gonna put on some eyeglasses so I'll be super comfortable today. And then we are heading out the door. Trusty Bolin, let me clean that out. All right guys, these are the swatches that I had to choose from. There are four different ones. So these are the blue ones, the red ones, the green ones, the green ones. And this one is 
manual and hand pack series one i'm not sure what that means but we looked through all of these colors and finally settled on this one bronze yellow so this is the color that i'm gonna be putting on the wall today i'm gonna show you how exciting how exciting so this wall is now gonna be this color see it's kind of like a reddish brown excited and here is the paint that they just sent over see it says prima satin bronze yellow so if you're looking for paint they have different kinds you can choose a semi-gloss you can choose a matte you can choose glossy and you can choose satin and love what's the color of the what's the finish of our paint in our other other walls is it also satin yes ah so all the walls in the sky pod are satin finish so you want me to help you explain what satin is sure i would like that thank you so, so much so it's a level of shine satin is what they also call eggshell so it's like the sheen of an eggshell so satin is eggshell is the same yes so there's gloss semi-gloss satin you're so tall <laughs> gloss semi-gloss satin then matte matte is basically no shine at all mm. So, but I, I kind of feel like matte is very classy if done correctly. Like every time I watch these YouTube videos from abroad, it's always a matte color. But matte, Slater says, also gets dirty really easy. Yeah, so the problem with gloss is when there's waves on your wall, especially when the light hits it, you can see all the waves. The advantage is it's easy to clean. Right. So the lower you go on the sheen level or the more matte you become, the more dirt sticks right. but the classier it looks and the less of the imp it can hide more imperfections of your wall yes. i feel like the glossy like super glossy walls tend to look a little bit more less chic um right? it depends it but depends. it depends how it's done i would say it, you have to have your wall perfectly straight you have to have your wall very well done which is really really hard to do it takes a lot of revisions in the construction side Dude, we, our walls perfect. were like, we had to do them so many times just to get Slater to approve them. Yeah, because it, it basically shows all the imperfections because right. it's shiny. Exactly. That's it. So we're going to go for a satin finish today and by the time you get back home, the walls will be in a beautiful bronze yellow color. Mmm, we'll see. But yeah, satin is a good compromise, no? Satin na lang yan. Satin na lang yan. Sky! Stop eating my plant! Mm. Sky loves to eat my plant. Sky! Look at our plant! What did you do, baby? What did you do? You killed our plant! So I have this thing where I don't know how to discipline Sky. It's kind of sad. Like, every time she pees or poos where she's not supposed to, I feel like I'm in the wrong. Like, it's because I didn't take her out. And Slater wants to get mad at her, but I just feel so bad. I can't look. I can't look when he disciplines her. <sighs> look at that cute face. That face is just too adorable. How can you get mad at that face, though? Sky, wash your eyes. Wash your eyes. Sky. All right, guys, we've moved all the furniture out of the way, and oh, this is it. I'm excited. Gray, this is gonna be white, and this is gonna be that beautiful bronze yellow color. So I've covered the floor as well because I don't want to get anything on it. I'm gonna go grab some masking tape and open the windows, and oh, this is it. I'm excited. Are you excited, Sky? This guy's like my roommate, my office mate. She's always with me. Are you excited, Sky? Are you excited? <laughs> so tip number one when you're painting walls, you want to make sure that everything is covered. And so these have been masking tape to make sure that they don't get paint on them.
So the paint looks a little bit pinkish right now, but once it dries, it's gonna have more of a warm tone brown color. So fear not. <laughs> Dude, I can watch this the whole day. like caladrill if you guys don't know what that is it's kind of like a calamine lotion that you put on your like mosquito bites so now i'm kind of thinking twice about the color but honestly i know that when this dries out it's gonna be a little bit darker and i'm so excited to have two walls now in my home office to film content on so you guys are gonna notice this new pink wall this is the bts then we have this brick wall here I actually have three walls because i still have this gray wall on the other side which i'm gonna fill floor to ceiling with beautiful shelves. So super excited, again excited to show you that. It's looking really good. It's beautiful, I love it. All right guys, right now we are just gonna wait for this whole entire wall to dry up. The color is gonna be a little bit deeper, a little bit warmer, and I can't wait for that to happen. And when this is all dry, probably by this afternoon or maybe tomorrow morning, I'm gonna move all the furniture back. So all of this furniture is gonna be back up on that wall, and I really think it's gonna look good because even though the sofa is like in a dark blue velvet, we have these pillows on top. So it really complements the wall. And even though on the opposite side of the wall is a gray color, we're gonna put shelves here and in the middle of the shelf, I'm gonna put some elements in the same color as this wall. So it's not gonna look too far off. It's still gonna look cohesive, unified, and I'm really excited to see how that turns out. I think this whole office will probably be finished by around October because that's when all the shelves are gonna come in. And I will do a separate tour on that date so that you guys can see what it's gonna look like. And we're gonna put like mirrors here and picture frames. I'm gonna put a plant here, like imagine some greenery. I cannot wait, honestly. Like it's super fun to decorate your own space and I'm so fortunate to have been able to decorate a lot of spaces so far and share them with you guys. My bedroom, I put out a tour and I'll link it up here. My home office, I'll put it up here. Of course, the sky pod, we're decorating it a room at a time and I'm so happy that I have this whole new space to get creative with and um, thank you so much to Island Paints for um, hooking us up with this beautiful color and if you guys enjoyed watching this video then please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up comment down below subscribe to the channel so you get more sky pot updates and i will see you guys in the next one Bye.